Hey guys, so today I want to do quickly a benchmark, uh, geek, uh, no, not Geekbench, but uh, an to benchmark test here between the Galaxy A5 2017 edition and the Asus Zenfone 3. Very interesting because these two devices cost around the same price range, like 400 euro, and uh, this is the C551 or something. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure about that, but uh, let's just do this. I'm very, very interested in which one's gonna get the highest score. So let's just start this thing here. So, um, oh my god. Okay, there we go. So this test is basically going to do some free 3D testing. It's going to do some um, processor testing, some RAM speed. From what I can see here, it looks like I'm pretty sure the uh, the A5 2070 has a the Mali GPU. It looks instantly when I look at this, it looks like it's way better than the uh, Asus Zenfone 3, which might be running on some Adreno GPU. And also in terms of the display. It just looks, okay, it looks way better. Uh, the Samsung display looks better from the sides. And this one is just like, it's worse. But I really gotta say, I'm very, very impressed with the, the software in the Zenfone 3. I mean, Ace has really been doing a great job with it. I mean, really. And you can see when I twist this one, it's way better. Samsung has really, really put in a lot of effort into making the Galaxy A5 2017 a nice phone. I really, really noticed that. So I'm very, very impressed. So it's doing some, uh, let's see, can I see the FPS? I'm pretty sure both have 1080p display, yeah. but I don't think it lists the frame rate. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of score it's going to be. Both seems to be keeping up at the same kind of time, which means that probably in terms of CPU power, they probably are pretty similar. Then again, also remember that the, the Zenfone 3 came out a few months back can be close to six months, five months. So of course the Zenfone or the the, uh, the new A5 has a little bit of an advantage over there, especially in terms of uh, graphical games. But then again, you should also remember that there's not like super many new games that's like uh, need like super much raw power, but in terms of future proof phone, it can be very, very nice there to have a, a good pro graphic processing unit. Now it's doing some CPU testing here, game operation, something, map operation, doing some operations. And decoding pictures, both say 62%. Interesting. Hmm. Some 2D graphical stuff. So we're getting close to the finish. The last test is going to be some user experience stuff. So now we've been going over both 3D and RAM. And of course, RAM is the memory available for like multitasking and do things like that. Having heavy apps running at the same time in the background. 70%, 30% left to go. And then again, also you can see the amazing AMOLED display on the Samsung phone. I mean, it's truly, truly amazing to see how, how good it is in terms of um, uh, having vibrant colors. Sometimes, some people may call it even too vibrant, but I gotta say, I really, really like it. It feels more like a lime, lime green color here. And the, the Samsung phone feel, feels more like a, uh, very, very bright uh, green. 
but it looks way more natural, I gotta say. And also the blacks, uh, the black background, this black is really black on all the display. I really love that. Doing some storage thing here in terms of user experience performance. For a second, there is some from three. It was at the 85 first before the 85. That's interesting. And now again, a little bit ahead. Maybe the Samsung 3 is gonna finish this up first. Hmm. Strategy games, chess. Okay, so now it's testing some chess game. Huh. That's interesting. Chinese chess. Go bang. Go bang. <laughs> Bad strategy game, go bang. Image decode now to JPEG time. Before I think it was PNG. And bam. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be a close one, I think. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so this was very, very interesting. So actually the winner from this test is the Zenfone 3. Uh, but when I take a look at this, I can see that, I mean, they're very, very close already. Uh, but when you look at 3D, Samsung gets 17,000, almost 18,000. This one only gets 13,000. I mean, that's a big deal if you're into games to have the better performance here. Then for some weird reason, UX, probably user experience, it looks like Asus have been doing a really, really good job at optimizing that experience. Better than Samsung with their, um, kind of, I think it's called Grace UX or something. Uh, or like TouchWiz uh, that it was called. I'm not sure if it's called that anymore. The CPU is also more powerful here, it looks like, which is very, very interesting, I gotta say. Very impressive because this one is a little bit older phone also. Uh, but RAM, Samsung is actually a bit sharper. But I gotta say, overall, I mean, I mean, user experience here can be really sweet there yeah, because that's way higher, like almost 5,000 higher. Uh, that's very, very impressive, or I think it's 5,000 actually. But in terms of games, the A5 really looks like it can be a little bit more solid. Uh, but yeah, very, very interesting there in terms of performance. I'm probably gonna do some more videos with these two devices because it's two very, very great phones at that uh, 400 euro price range. And they both have very, very beautiful uh, special designs. So yeah, quick video, checking that out. Hopefully you enjoy and have a great day.